What is going on guys? It is Rachel here from Makers Gonna Learn and today I have a super fun tutorial for you guys. We're gonna be teaching you guys how to make reusable stencils with your Cricut. I know that a lot of people want to use stencils. They're great for home decor. They're great for, you know, any canvas or any, really anything, really anything you want to stencil, this is a great idea. And I know that a lot of us get the stencil vinyl or maybe just use a color vinyl we don't normally like and make that into a stencil. But the problem is you really can't save that. It's like one and done. When that stencil has been used once, it's basically trash anyways. So today we have some really cool craft plastic. We're gonna go through all these materials soon. But today, if you follow my tips and tricks, you will end up with a beautiful stencil. So I cannot wait to get into it. So let's talk about the supplies. So let's talk craft plastic. Crafting plastic uh, is super important, especially for this project today. So what happened was I had bought uh, some craft plastic. It is the graphics brand. Uh, we will link it in the description below, but I bought the pack that was green. Like the packaging was green. So I got it, got in the Amazon cart. It, you know, it arrived. I didn't even think anything of it. We started to film this video or excuse me, uh, test. We started to test this video and the plastic was way too thick. It, the Cricut would not cut it. We gave like 13 passes on the plastic and it would not cut it. So, uh, we finally, uh, got down to the root of the problem and it was the plastic of course the plastic was way too thick so we went back on their website and turns out they have several different uh, thicknesses of craft plastic which i'm sure you all are like duh rachel why didn't you know that i really don't know a lot about craft plastic but we ordered the correct size so again we'll link in the description but if you all just want to hear what it is instead of getting the green package which is 0.020 I think millimeters I don't know the sizes but that's the number on it don't get that one that's the one we got it was way too thick we ended up getting the blue package 0.007 is the size you all need and again that's graphics brand clear craft plastic that's it, definitely. But anyways, I don't know why it didn't come um, in its package here today so I could show you, but in it, on through Amazon, it just kind of came like this. So we're gonna take what we can get, but you're gonna need that craft plastic. If you have another uh, brand you prefer more, go for it, that's totally fine. And you're also gonna need some Easy Tack. And this, guys, this is not normal Easy Tack. This is repositional adhesive so it doesn't like spray and then stick then you're good I mean it's repositional so it's not going to be as sticky as just normal easy tack is so this is repositional and you need to get um I really like this Krylon brand too so if you want to go ahead and just get this same thing we'll link this below as well but it's Krylon easy tack repositional adhesive and the numbers are 70 20 I don't know if that makes a difference but we we just know that we have to use repositional uh, adhesive. So we love this brand again, so we will be using this today. Of course, you need your Cricut mat. We're going to be using our standard grip mat today. And uh, you just need a few pieces of like scrap paper. We're going to be uh, spraying our um, finished stencil with that so that, um, of course, it'll be sticky to whatever you stick it on. But anyways, you also need your deep cut blade. So um, we tried this with our regular blade and it just didn't really do it justice. It did not do it great. Now we are gonna have to make probably two or three passes with this um, material and the deep cut blade, but it's okay guys, I will show you how to do that. But um, that's really all you'll need is, you know, your deep cut blade and it's really not a ton of stuff that you'll need. And of course, if you're wanting to make a project ASAP after you uh, make one of these stencils, you will also need your pouncers and your paint and whatever it is that you're going to stencil on and things like that. But just to make the stencil, this is all you'll need. So now let's jump into Design Space and I will show you all the awesomeness of creating a stencil. Okay, guys, here we are in Cricut Design Space and we are gonna make a stencil today and we're actually gonna use one of over 80 fonts from Makers Gonna Learn. We're gonna go to system fonts here and we are going to search Sierra. And there it is here. This is such a pretty, a pretty font. And I, I want to make a stencil of the word create today. 
So love this. And this is what these words look like as soon as you type them out. It looks a little odd, but we're going to get there, guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to tap this. We're going to go to uh, edit and we're going to go here to letter space. And we're just going to bring this down quite a bit. Now, once we get so far, we're going to quit. So we're just going to stop with the letter space. We don't want to, you know, get it too crazy looking. And we're going to go back to actions over here. And we're actually going to ungroup this whole thing. So now we're going to work letter by letter and get this guy exactly where we want it. We're going to take this R. We're going to move all these around exactly how we want them. So we're just going to get picky, guys. You can move these all around. You know, we're going to scoot this A over here. We're going to come over here and this T is wild on us. So we're just going to drag this. And I do have smart guides on as you can see these little, um, these awesome little lines, yellow lines. You can see those help us a ton. And our E is way over here. So we're just going to bring our E on in too. So this is looking much, much better, guys. And I'm going to bring this T up a little bit because I don't want it, um, I don't want it to be touching, touching my, uh, my E there. So we're just going to bring him up a bit. That looks good. So here is uh, the word. I think it looks beautiful and it, it looks great to me. So what we're just going to do is when you have everything exactly how you want it, guys, this is the time to be picky and to make sure you have things how you want it because we're gonna, going to weld this, guys. Now, you all know when you weld, you cannot go back. So make sure this word is exactly how you want it. Then we're going to hit weld. Now, after we hit weld, to actually make this a stencil, what we're going to do is take a shape. So we're going to go over here to shapes. We're going to take a square here and we are going to go up here, unlock this. We're going to make it wider and skinnier and we're going to put this over our um, letter or our word, excuse me. But I want to go over here to edit and I'm going to arrange this and I'm going to move forward because we do want to see what this looks like on here. Now, since this is a stencil, we want some extra space on the top and the bottom to make sure uh, we can stencil properly and our smart guides locked into place meaning this is in the middle but if you do not have smart guides a great tip is to select both layers go over here to edit align and then align center and I, of course i tap it but since our smart guides were on you can see that it's perfect and now that our smart guides have locked that into place for us what we're going to do now guys we're going to press slice now what slice is going to do is take away a few layers we don't want and create our stencil. So once you have this how you want it and you have enough, you know, hanging over on the edges, you're going to select both layers, go to actions and hit slice. Now, as you can see here, we're going to drag this layer out. We don't need this layer or this layer. So we're going to X that out, X that out. Right here is the layer that we need. Right here is our beautiful stencil. But I know you guys might be thinking something seems wrong that seemed a little bit too easy and you guys are right. We are not done here because uh, unlike a vinyl stencil where you just uh, get it how you want it, cut it and then weed it and apply transfer paper, there's no transfer paper or anything like that and it doesn't adhere at all. So any place in these words just like up here in this R or right here in this C you'll see those would just be loose pieces and we do not want any loose pieces. We want them all to be attached um, with our stencil. So uh, thank goodness our E here and the A and everything, they are uh, separate. So they are not, um, those will not be loose pieces. But we do have two loose pieces right in the R and the C. So a little hack that we're going to do guys is we're going to go back over here to shapes. We're going to select a square and we're going to make this square teeny, teeny, tiny, unlock it, just make it like a little, a little stick, guys. We just want a little bitty stick of a square, just something tiny. And then we're going to go ahead and duplicate that because we do want two of these. So we're going to go to actions and duplicate this because we do have one on the C and one on the R. So we're going to take these guys and we're going to just sit it right there. We're going to take him and sit him right there as well. Now, now these are attached, uh, they're not attached yet, but as you can see, now uh, the stencil will all be one piece and all the little pieces will be connected. So in order to make that happen, we're going to select all the layers and we're going to weld them together once again.
And now that these are welded together, as you can see, we won't have a bit of trouble with our stencil. It will cut all of these and we will have no loose pieces. Now, once you size it to how you want it, you guys can just click make it. You do not click iron on. This is a stencil project, um, so you're not gonna mirror this for iron on, so we're just gonna hit continue. And once you have it to this point, we're actually gonna search all materials. And we are going to go um, kinda crazy today, but trust me guys, we have tested it and this works. We're going to um, select transparency. So this might seem like an odd um, material setting to choose, but I swear it works. And we're gonna go ahead and give that uh, more pressure as well. Um, so yeah, we're gonna give that more pressure. But if you guys feel like there's a different setting you guys like better, let us know in the comments, but we have tested this and this one works the best. But anyways, now all we're gonna do is uh, switch over and we're gonna load our craft plastic onto our mat, switch in our deep cut blade and get to cutting. Okay guys, so first I'm just gonna go ahead and switch out our blades. I'm just pulling out our fine point blade and inserting our um, deep cut blade into clamp B. And now right here is our Cricut mat and I'm just gonna lift this plastic or this paper off of my plastic sheet and there's one on the bottom of it too. And now, well you can't really see it, but now here is our piece of plastic. It is a beautiful piece of plastic. So we're just gonna line this up right here. And it's sticking pretty, pretty well. You know, I don't wanna get my fingerprints all over it or anything like that. But once you get it down, we're just gonna load this into our machine. And again, our deep cut blade is inserted into clamp B. Uh, you probably could use a fine point blade if you wanted to, but you'll have to give it more passes than a deep cut blade. But I know a lot of people don't have a deep cut blade, so really it just depends on what you've got. But when this is ready to go, guys, we're gonna press that flashing cricket button. Okay guys, the first cut is complete and I, I, we're gonna unload it before we load it back in if we have to. So we're gonna check it and see if it has cut through all the way. So we're just gonna unload it, but we're not gonna take it out. It's very important that you leave it exactly where it is. So we're just gonna peel up a little bit of the plastic here and see how well it comes up. And it looks like it's gonna come up really, really well just with one cut. So I'm gonna go ahead and unload it guys, okay? And then we'll switch to the second camera so that I can show you guys how we'll take this off of the mat. Okay guys, here we are. I know you probably can't see it. Let me try and turn it in a way you can see it. There you go. So as you can see, it cut pretty well. I'm super surprised I didn't have to make another pass on it. Um, so what we're just gonna do is take it off the excess. So we're just gonna start here in the corner and peel this guy up. So right here is all of our excess and we're just gonna step that to the side. And right here is our beautiful stencil again. Let me turn it to where you all can see it. See how pretty that is? So all we're gonna do is start picking out um, the inside letters. So you can use a Cricut tool or what, you know, whatever you'd like to use. Really it's just your material of choice. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and start peeling this up off of the mat. And it's already doing a great job, so I'm ju I just flipped the mat over. You can see what we're doing a little bit here. But I'm just doing two fingers, just taking it up like this. And there you go. Here we have our stencil. I wish that you guys could see it more. But let me show you on the mat here is what's left. Uh, all this, of course, we do not want because we are making a stencil. So here's what we have here. And oh, you can see it on this. Look how pretty. Excuse the hole in our, <laughs> excuse the hole in our work table. You know how it is, guys, when you craft. But look how beautiful this is. And guys, with that handy trick that we learned in Design Space, now you do not have to worry about uh, you know, the little middle of your um, C or your R coming up because it's all attached together. So you will have a foolproof stencil every time uh, because of that. So that's really neat, guys. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a few pieces of scrap paper, of copy paper, anything that you all have, 
and lay it down. Of course, this would be ideal if you had like a poster board and you were able to go outside uh, so that you could spray paint this. It would be perfect. So just go outside, put a piece of poster board down and go ahead and lightly spray this. But it's raining where we are uh, today. Plus, I really want to give you all a good um, video of this. So we are going to do this on the camera for you guys. So right here's your stencil on some scrap piece of paper. Go ahead and flip flip that stencil over because of course you want to uh, sticky the back of it. So here it is um, upside down or backwards and we're going to take our um, repositional adhesive here and we're going to shake it up just a little bit. And the key here guys is light coats. You want to be really light about this. You don't want to give it uh, too much. So we're just going to give it a super light coat. Just spraying in little spurts. That looks great. So you guys probably cannot see it, of course, but there are, you can tell that we did spray it. There's, you know, some, it's like beading up in some spots as you can see, but guys, it looks super, super good. So I'm sure as you all can imagine, after you would do this, you would take this and let it dry, not for very long because again, it's just gonna get tacky. So after just a, you know, a few minutes, like honestly three to five minutes of just letting that kind of chill there, take it, slap it on whatever it is that you're wanting to stencil, get your paint out, get your pouncers out. Um, it, there is a trick to stenciling, you know, you wanna stencil the right way. Uh, some tips are uh, that when you have your pouncer and you dip it in your paint, uh, make sure you get a lot of the excess paint off before you start stenciling. Another tip is straight up and straight down. You just wanna do motions just like this when you are pouncing. You don't want to uh, start smearing it or anything like that when you're stenciling. And those are just my tips and Tanner would tell you all about the same thing. We have been stenciling for a while now and we've just kind of picked those up along the way. But guys, this is so, so cool. And I love the way that um, it's gonna be uh, reusable because now you haven't wasted a ton of your vinyl or anything like that. And this craft plastic, it's pretty affordable. I think for 25 sheets, it's like 20 bucks. So a little less than a dollar a sheet, but um, it's a really, really good deal and I like them. I think you can buy packs of four or packs of 25. Again, get the blue. You want the 0 .007 and not the 0 .020. So get the blue pack, not the green pack, and you'll be golden. Again, that is graphics brand. This is Krylon brand, and we used our deep cut blade in our Cricut Maker. And I hope that you all enjoyed learning how to make stencils in Cricut Design Space. I know some of you might have been a little intimidated by it, but it's really not hard at all. It's super, super easy. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. I cannot wait to see what you all make with your stencils. If you are a member of makersgonnalearn.com, please leave your finished projects that you make with these in the Facebook group. And if you are not a member of makersgonnalearn.com, what are you waiting for? We have over 800 digital cut files as well as 80 fonts and more are added every month and every quarter. And we have a ton of fun over there. There's a Facebook group. We come live every day on YouTube to uh, see what you guys are up to and to get crafty. Uh, for the membership, if you are a yearly member, you do get those fonts and you do get a bunch of free e-courses e and all of our members get a free commercial license and a lot of awesome printables. You guys will just love that membership over there. If you have any kind of die cutting machine that um, can use PNG or SVG cut files. So that's a Cricut Explore Air, Explore Air 2, a Cricut Maker, Brother Scanning Cut, Silhouette Cameo, anything like that. We are here to serve you any crafty way we can over on makersgonnalearn.com. So please go check that out if you haven't already. I hope that you all enjoyed this video. I had a blast sharing with you guys how to make reusable stencils with your Cricut. I hope that you learned a lot and you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We usually have live streams and videos like this come out five days a week. If not, every single day we go live for you guys. So you'll have a lot of fun over on this channel. And also give us a like and leave us a comment down below. If you have any questions or concerns, we always do our best to get back to you guys. And I hope you have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.